Certain things that you eat are more likely to add fat to your body. Meanwhile, there are other foods that you can eat that'll not only help you reduce your body fat, but will also help you gain muscle at the same time. This is a process known as body recomposition, and it's one of the fastest ways to get to your goal without cycling between bulking and cutting. So today, I wanna to give you the 12 best foods that'll help you build muscle and burn fat at the same time. And first, I wanna start with fish, specifically fish with white meat. This includes fish like flounder, cod, and of course, whitening fish. Typically, white fish is very low in fat, but very high in protein. And even though dietary fats don't necessarily lead to you gaining body fat, dietary fats do add additional calories to your daily total. So even though a fish like salmon can help you get lean while building muscle, white meat fish are considered even leaner sources of protein. For example, when we compare farm-raised salmon to cod, we find that a four ounce filet of cod has about 93 calories, 20 grams of protein, and less than one gram of fat. Meanwhile, a four ounce portion of farm-raised salmon contains about 236 calories with 23 grams of protein and 15 grams of fat. Wild-caught salmon would be a much better option and is definitely considered a lean source of protein that can help you build muscle and burn fat. But compared to white-fleshed fish, it still contains about double the calories that you would get from cod for almost the same exact amount of protein. Next, we have egg whites. Now, of course, you can eat the whole egg and still get lean in the process, but the best way to maximize protein and minimize excess calories is by eating just the egg whites. Although you won't get the rich macronutrient content that comes from the yolk, when we compare whole eggs to egg whites, it's easy to see that you save quite a bit of dietary fat. One large egg contains about 78 calories with six grams of protein and five grams of fat. On the other hand, one egg white will only contain around 17 calories with three and a half grams of protein and basically zero grams of fat. So even if we compare one whole egg to two egg whites, you can see that the egg whites save you a lot of calories for more protein. Two egg whites would only be around 34 calories with seven grams of protein and basically still zero grams of fat. If you're trying to keep calories low and protein high while still enjoying the taste of your eggs, you can try adding one or two whole eggs and then for the rest of the protein, scramble with egg whites. Another seafood that I haven't mentioned is shrimp. Shrimp is actually one of my favorite sources of protein when I'm on a lean bulk, mostly because I just like how it tastes. It doesn't taste exactly like fish, nor does it taste anything like beef, chicken, or pork, so it helps add more of a variety of different tastes to my diet. I also like to add soy sauce and some garlic to my shrimp because it makes it taste even better without adding any empty calories. Four ounces of farm shrimp contain only around 80 calories with around 15 grams of protein and under two grams of fat. Wild caught shrimp have about 120 calories, 23 grams of protein and two grams of fat. Also, another reason why I really like shrimp is because you can get pre-cooked shrimp, throw it on a frying pan for under two minutes and your protein source is basically ready, making it very convenient. Another food that's a staple in the bodybuilding community is of course chicken breast. And the reason why chicken breast is probably the most common source of protein listed on a bodybuilder's diet is because it's almost entirely made up of protein and pretty much only comparable to turkey breast in terms of lean poultry. For a four ounce portion of chicken breast, you'll take in a little over one gram of fat, but it'll also provide around 23 to 25 grams of protein for a total of only around 120 calories. Now, based on the foods that we've gone over so far, you're probably thinking that steak and red meat is nowhere to be found on the list. However, lean cuts of beef can definitely help you get enough protein to build muscle and can help you get more creatine from your diet without adding a ton of additional calories. The leanest cut of beef is the eye of round portion, which for four ounces contains about 140 calories with 25 grams of protein and only three and a half grams of fat. Top round is another lean cut that contains about 175 calories with 25 grams of protein and about seven to eight grams of fat. Other portions that aren't quite as lean but are still considered to be lean cuts for beef include beef tenderloin and bottom round. Aside from steaks and roasts, another great low calorie, high protein option is lean ground beef. And in general, lean ground beef can be used for a bunch of things like vegetable stir fries, stuffed peppers, and of course, burger patties that you could put between low calorie portobello mushroom buns. Four ounces of 95% lean ground beef contains 155 calories made of about 24 grams of protein and only five and a half grams of fat. 93% lean ground beef is also relatively low in calories for red meat, containing 172 calories with the same 24 grams of protein and around eight grams of fat. 
Next, let's talk about some vegan and vegetarian options like seitan. If you don't have a gluten intolerance, this can be an amazing source of plant-based protein to add to your meals. The reason why it's so amazing is because it's almost entirely made up of protein. Just one ounce of seitan contains only around 100 calories with 21 grams of protein and only half a gram of fat and four carbohydrates. Taking in 21 grams of protein for only 100 calories is amazing even when compared to many of the meat-based protein sources that I've included so far. Also, seitan, when cooked correctly with the proper seasonings, can really taste delicious and has a similar texture to meat. Another vegetarian option is low-fat or non-fat cottage cheese. Although a lot of vegetarians consider tofu to be a great source of protein, you don't really get that much protein for the amount of calories that you take in. If you can have dairy products, cottage cheese offers a much better macronutrient profile with a higher bioavailability. One cup of non-fat cottage cheese has about 123 calories with 25 grams of protein, only 2.5 grams of carbs, and of course, 0 grams of fat. Cottage cheese is also naturally an excellent source of calcium and vitamin B12. So if you're a vegetarian rather than a full-out vegan, it can be a great addition to your diet. Next is tuna, and tuna actually doesn't fall into the category of white-fleshed fish. Instead, it falls into the oily fish category where we find other fish like salmon. I also wanted to mention tuna separately because of how easy it is to incorporate into your diet. You can get tuna in a can or in a packet and bring it with you anywhere for a quick high-protein meal. And a regular four ounce can of tuna in water contains about 100 calories with 22 grams of protein and only one gram of fat. Another red meat that can help you build muscle while saving calories is pork tenderloin. There are many parts of pork that are very high in fat, which is why the fat content of pork tenderloin is quite surprising. Four ounces of pork tenderloin contains about 136 calories with 23 grams of protein and under four grams of fat. This is lower than what you can get with most cuts of beef, but it provides similar important micronutrients like vitamin B, selenium, iron, phosphorus, calcium, and copper. Pork tenderloin can also go great in many dishes since it can be served as a steak or you could break it apart and throw it into so many delicious pulled pork recipes. Moving on to the next one, we have lean ground turkey. With ground turkey, you have two choices. You can go with 93% lean ground turkey or with 99% lean ground turkey breast. Each has a unique taste, and with the right seasonings, both can be made to taste great. 93% lean ground turkey will contain similar calories to 93% lean ground beef. So in four ounces, you'll get about 170 calories with 23 grams of protein and eight grams of fat. The extra lean ground turkey breast, on the other hand, will only contain 120 calories with 26 grams of protein and only about one and a half grams of fat. Next, I have to mention two supplements that you can get from food, but in their supplement form, they can also be very helpful for gaining muscle while burning fat. The first one is, of course, protein powder. Now, keep in mind, different protein powders will come with different macronutrient profiles. Whey protein powder will typically contain only around 115 calories per scoop with 25 grams of protein, hardly any fat, and under 2 to 3 grams of carbs. There are many plant-based alternatives as well that actually have a great protein to carb to fat ratio. Ideally, you want the protein to be high while keeping carbs and fats low to minimize calories. Many brands have pea protein powders that are able to keep calories really low. So if you're vegan or vegetarian, definitely check those out. And the other supplement that can help you both burn fat and build muscle is creatine. Even though you can get a good amount of creatine from red meat and fish, most people will need to supplement with creatine to maximize their creatine stores and feel the performance boosting effects that come with taking creatine. Creatine can help you increase your strength, energy, and your overall performance during your workouts, which alone can help you build more muscle at a faster rate. It's also virtually calorie free, which means you can get all of these muscle building benefits while still dropping body fat. Just make sure that you get regular creatine monohydrate and then simply add it to your post-workout protein shake. If instead you choose to go with a pre-made flavored creatine formula, make sure you check the nutrition label. Although most of these formulas are fine, there are some that are more designed to help you bulk up, so they may have quite a few additional carbohydrates. So that about wraps it up. As always, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon. 
Also, if you'd like more customized workout options, and if you're sick of all the trial and error that most people go through, then visit my website and start my six week shred program. We'll customize the ideal plan for your body and your preferences, whether you prefer intermittent fasting, carb cycling, keto, vegan, or a variety of other options, we can help map out your plan in a way that's guaranteed to help you improve your body composition. The best part is you can get the entire plan and the coach for free just by sticking to the program for the full 42 days. We refund your initial deposit for the program at the end to motivate you to actually complete the program and get the results you want, even as distractions come up. It's literally a challenge where you compete only against yourself. This is why so many of our clients are able to lose 20 pounds or 5% of their body fat with our six week program. Since we know that consistency is key, we know that if we get you to simply show up to your workouts and follow your plan, you'll get amazing results. And based on our experience, when you follow through, you'll always get great results and you'll want to continue training with us. To be completely transparent, that's actually my secret hope, that I can give you such an amazing experience and have you so blown away by your results that you get in just six weeks that you decide to continue training with us past those six weeks. But again, there's no obligation to stay at the end. You can take your initial deposit and go train however you want. So if you're looking for a done for you solution that could be yours for free, you can find out more by clicking the link below in the description, or you can head straight on over to my website directly at gravitytransformation.com. I'll see you guys soon.